Now, fast fashion is getting really a lot of power, and all these really super high luxury label, they will survive. So I think it will be like kind of divided in two. And, and uh, I think in both ways, sustainable fashion could live. And, and uh, so we don't know yet, you know, exactly how this sustainable fashion is going. But uh, we will take a part in high luxury business um, and uh, trying to, you know, also to educate uh, the customers, um, you know, in terms of, in terms of you know this this sustainable issues mm -hmm. and, and I think I believe that there there will be a market once more people will be you know aware of mm -hmm. of this issue mm -hmm. so. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Is it a drive among young people to buy sustainable, for example? <clears throat> well, since you know it's in the luxury market, mm -hmm. um, more people with a certain age. Mm -hmm. um, what I heard a lot from these people is, is quite interesting. After a while, they 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 think that the, you know they want to kind of leave something in the society. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to do. Th Good things for, for for the society mm -hmm. or for 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 future, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the kids or yeah. you know, the people. So, um, this is how they kind of spend the money, and this is how you know trigger the you know um, their consumptions, mm -hmm. and, and this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know acne. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why well, I know other you know um, things, but. Um, if I imagine like Swedish, like design is very simple, minimal, but practical mm -hmm. and uh, very kind of sophisticated.